So yeah. All right, so we we here at uh, Next Web here in Berlin. So who are you? I'm uh, Eli, uh, head of marketing for Mailjet. Mailjet is a cloud-based email service that replaces your uh, SMTP server and uh, removes the pain of uh, having to administrate administrate one on your on your own. So replace SMTP on the cloud. Oh, well, uh, exactly. SMTP server. SMTP server. Uh, replace an SMTP server. It's still SMTP behind because it's the protocol used to send email. But what we do is that we improve deliverability and we provide a lot of analytics about the campaigns or the transactional emails that are sent. Uh, let you know if it was open, clicked, or whatever. A lot of uh, granularity in the analytics that we provide. Uh, we have over 12,000 uh, clients worldwide. We are present in Spain, Germany, uh, Germany soon. Oh yes, we are present in Germany because I'm going to live in Germany uh, for one month uh, in June, July, probably to uh, set up a great team, a uh, local team in Berlin and uh, really invade the German market. So we're fr French based originally. So you're a French company. We're a French yeah. company, but uh, doing the majority of our sales and customers all around the world so uh, no, nobody knows that we are French and uh, so basically uh, we are. people are often astonished oh you're French uh, but uh, yeah. they, they think that we are American or not but no we are French but we have a lot of customers uh, in uh, North America we have uh, in Switzerland we have an office in Toronto uh, we have uh, deliverability expertise in the US uh, and so we are really a global uh, startup but that is beginning to be a bit big no, not a bigger one, a bigger startup. Not even your accent is French. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's, that, 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 that's because he's from Belgium, maybe. And uh, I, I, well, I'm from France, but uh, speaking to a lot, a lot in English, uh, yeah, I, 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 I lose my accent. No, you can uh, hear it. I cannot hear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you should, you should. So, so are you basically a mail host? Like a hosting email? No, it would be. A lot. So what we do is develop, developers use an API to send all the emails uh, for the app. For example, they build an app and they need to send a welcome email or they need to send some uh, password reset emails. All these one-to-one -one emails, they would use us to send these emails. And other people also use us. Uh, uh, also use our platform to send transactional. Uh, no, not transactional, but marketing emails such as newsletters, for example. So how big is your company? How is it working? About it uh, 30 people. We started two years ago. We have a double-digit monthly growth since, and uh, it's growing quite uh, fastly. Still, I mean, the steady growth. He's the CFO, so he. So we, we, we have enough growth to um, to have short days, um, uh, like Ellie told, double-digit growth in users, in revenues. It's a, a very nice business to be in, very complex one to invade uh, all over Europe, but um, happy company, happy people, very terrific uh, team. So And we, are, we, are, we have some competitors in the US, but uh, in Europe we are the only ones uh, that uh, have this positioning uh, cloud email for transactional... Uh, uh, That's our expertise. Who's your competitor? Uh, there are a lot of competitors. We have the other email marketing players, traditional players. Uh, it goes from MailChimp to Email Vision to Exact Target. All these people who were in email since, you know, uh, 10 years maybe. And you I have also... News, news kind of thing, right? Yes, so exactly. we are more transactional oriented and uh, this is specific and there are not so many uh, actors, we can name a few, there are what, uh, what kind of... Uh, people like Mailgun or even SendGrid do provide an API stack for developers to build on their apps and it's exactly what we do but our specificity is to focus on Europe, to be very close to our customers and the startups in Europe. You need to know about GMX and web.de when you're in Germany. You need to know about Orange or Wanadu when you're in France. You need to know about Skynet or KPN where you're in the yeah. Netherlands. And that is our expertise. It's scattered Europe and we build, we build our teams the, to, be, to be the best European provider. The key concept behind the Mailjet is deliverability. It means uh, having your email that actually reaches the inbox. And to get this, to be able to make sure that the email gets to the inbox, you need to understand the rules of each ISP. And so GMX in Germany, but you have Orange in France, you have uh, Belgacom in Belgium. 
the European market is very fragmented and because we are European, we have local presence in each country, we are able to really optimize with each ISP uh, the deliverability. And this is not so much the case with our American uh, competitors who are, who are present in the US. They may have a support team in Europe, but they don't have relationships with the local ISPs. And this is our specificity, deliverability in Europe. How many, how much they cost? What do you mean price? Ah, it's a completely it's a SaaS model. It's a cloud model, real cloud model, which means that there is no commitment. People pay what they send, so it's uh, per number of emails sent per month. But there's no commitment beyond one month, and this is the guarantee for uh, full flexibility and scalability. This means typically a, a startup that is growing very fast, like us. They're going to send uh, 10,000 emails a month today, and one year they'll be sending 1 million uh, maybe uh, every month. They'll be able to adjust with our pricing. And so the prices, to be very concrete, it starts for free, uh, up to 6,000 email uh, emails a month, it's for free. Then 30,000 emails a month, it's like 5 euros 49. Uh, 120,000 uh, with a dedicated IP, you would get around 55 euros. And it goes up and up and up with some custom pricing for all our clients who send tens of millions or even more uh, every month. So it, is, so it is extremely cheap compared to traditional players who have always been email marketing. We talked about email vision or exact targeted companies like that. They price per contact. It can be thousands of euros to improve your marketing. We are providing an infrastructure where developers can build features they want to do to achieve uh, whatever they want with emails. And basically, it costs almost nothing uh, to send out these emails. And so, for marketing email, what I would add is that for marketing email, it can be logic to have a per contact pricing. But for transactional email, you want to pay for each email sent. You don't want to pay for uh, a contact because otherwise it would. Uh, I mean, to leverage at the maximum the, your monthly plan if you pay for pricing based on the contact. I, is it? No, I, maybe too complicated what I'm trying to explain. Uh, <laughs> I'll stop here. I don't understand at all. <laughs> I'll but, stop here. But I'm very interested in having that kind of feature in my website. Uh, yeah. How do I make sure it doesn't get in a spam folder? You can measure that? Yes, uh, we can. You, you don't have. I mean, you when we're talking about deliverability, we're talking about inbox placement. If, if you get in the spam folder, you don't have any indicator to know, oh, this was in the spam folder. But what we provide with the open rates, click rates, and the details of the ISP, you can see, for example, oh, uh, my uh, emails at Gmail just dropped 10%, uh, op the open rate just dropped 10%. So you say, okay, there is a problem. And we provide these analytics. They are relative analytics, not yeah. absolute. So yeah, because yeah first, uh, exactly what Eli explains is, inside on the whole uh, metric and the second element is that we measure the reputation of an IP. Uh, every email that gets out is linked to an IP address and that IP is measured uh, real time by us so we get the information from the different ISPs to know is this a clean or not IP. If you mess up on your website by sending out crap immediately your reputation will go down, it will provoke an alert, so you will notify that due to a bad reputation, you will end up in a spam folder. So you know you messed up and you need to handle on something. We would give you in real time uh, information that there is an incident, we'll stop the sending to avoid your IP reputation to be hurt. And uh, when it's completely hurt, I mean, you cannot do anything about it. So it's really, IP reputation monitoring is a big part of this uh, deliverability optimization. And last but not least, deliverability is often a buzzword. You, I mean, 20% uh, of e legitimate email ends up in the spam folder. So everybody is talking about deliverability. But the question you were asking, there is no deliverability rate because there is no absolute way to measure it. So when you hear an, uh, an email service provider uh, boasting about 99% deliverability, it doesn't mean anything. However, uh, uh, a deliverability is an objective, and uh, Mailjet is here to help the clients to measure, to really to measure get, everything, measure everything, and really optimize, create all the conditions so that the email always get in the inbox and are always received by the recipients. So an email that comes in a Gmail inbox, you can't. 
you don't know if it's there or not until people click Gmail or allow to show a picture. No, is that what how you measure? Exactly. You need to allow something imported that's not default. You Maybe. cannot measure exactly if it's in an inbox, yes or no. Uh, Gmail doesn't tell you. No. Nope. No. Nope. What Gmail tells you is if someone clicks on the spam not folder. Even, not Gmail. Not Gmail. Okay. They don't even provide feedback loops. But other ISPs, such as uh, Hotmail, for example, they would yeah. if someone clicks on the report as spam folder, yeah. they would give this information because there is an action by the recipient. They don't tell you if it's in the, in the spam folder, but they tell you if someone puts it in the spam folder. So uh, one of our added value as well is to gather this information so that the sender can uh, take it into account and know, wow, there is a real problem because, uh, uh, I mean, we, we estimate that above zero point 0.1% uh, uh, spam complaints, it's, it's a problem. It's it, it, it makes uh, your uh, IP reputation it's, drop. It's all and about metrics and apply the right rules for everyone and be the safeguard. If something happens, we'll do proactively the actions that we avoid a bad reputation for you as a sender. And when people click display image in Gmail, that's a metric you can measure, or not? That, that's a, we we measure it uh, as it. We consider we consider the email is open. Uh, to to know if an email is open, uh, it's a small pixel, transparent pixel that is integrated to the email. So uh, uh, I mean, if the client images. yes, and if the client uh, the recipient doesn't uh, display the image, you don't count it as open. But then he can click on it, and you know that it was read. But that's what I was saying with deliverability. You have relative indicators that are uh, globally in indicating something and you can leverage them. But it's not absolute. There's nothing absolute with, with deliverability. That's so it. there was RSS, but it didn't really work. And uh, uh, all these websites, but still email is the best marketing, no? It's, it's still the, the, the most powerful uh, marketing channel. And I mean, when you, for example, for any seller or any, I mean, there was a lot of buzz about social media, etc. But you communicate through social media, but at the end, the transaction, you need email, and that's email it. Email is much better than Facebook. It's not better, but it's no. just that you, you would leverage Facebook. I mean, in, term, in terms Everybody of cost. Everybody should use Facebook, but email is better, no? Yeah, it's, it's not better. <laughs> no? It's not better. So the, it, it's it, if I was saying that... It's uh, complementary. It's completely uh, complementary. Tele telephone, uh, telephone is better than the internet. No, it's, it's different. I have a phone in my uh, pocket. Uh, it's different from internet because internet is another medium recovering a lot of uh, uh, media. But uh, you, you see my point. It's just different. But at the end, you always have email. And, uh, we, People were talking about the death of email. We see nothing happening. The, the volumes are still surging and surging, and the problematics around around sending email, routing emails properly, keep uh, getting more and more. So when present. you say 30 people in the company, means it's big. It became big. Uh, it became big. Still, it especially, especially when uh, yeah, one year ago we were ten, uh, ten of us one year ago, and today we are thirty people. So most engineers. Uh, most engineers. Yeah. yeah, we are beginning to develop the marketing department, but uh, most uh, of uh, the, most the, I mean, the, the, the core company, the core of the company, are engineers working on on this technology. That means you're working some crazy stuff right now. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Yeah. Yeah. There's what some crazy it? stuff coming up. Oh, we can't, we, we'll we can't probably say it now, we'll probably uh, yeah. communicate about this in the in the coming months. But uh, what months? in the next in month? the coming month, two to three months. With an S. Uh, it's difficult to say. Month. With, uh, for French. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right.